Nice to meet you. Sergeant Floyd, the last one. We're about to get briefed on a search warrant by the Warren Police Department. I do have information on weapons in the house. There's a, uh, possibly an AR-14 in the computer room, a shotgun in a closet. Apparently, our suspect may be armed with an assault rifle, so we have to look out for ourselves. He's running a fraud scam throughout the Tri-County area. He's into these banks for close to uh, at least a half a million dollars right now. Primary entry point is the front door. Um, it has a metal gate, so it could be the Ram and Halligan job. Um, Ram is going to be Ricochet, Halligan going to be Diesel. I'm going to be working the Halligan, and I need to get the security gate open. I need to get it open as fast as possible. Just be safe and um, do what we do. About to down our 60 pounds worth of equipment. But. It's 60 pounds worth of life insurance, so we don't mind. I've never used the Halligan on an operation before. Um, we've all been trained on it, so it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, Ricochet and I, we're going to go over what we need to do, him being the ram, uh, right before we leave. So everything should go well. element of surprise is very important. You can get in quickly, catch them before they can even get to their firepower, and that's really what we want to do. Yes, sir. Here it is, right here. Ready? This, this orange brick, orange brick, right here. All right, fellas. Go in there and take care of business. House. Let me know when we can send the detectives in. Another nine millimeter. They got rounds everywhere in this house, man. It looks like the detectives' information about the guns were right. Unfortunately, though, the suspect wasn't home, but we still got the guns off the street. It's got a uh, got AR-15, a 30-round magazine, a uh, pump-action shotgun with extended magazine with numerous rounds of buckshot. Clear. Thanks, guys. Hey. Nice okay. houses on the drive over here. here. Yeah, very nice. It's a nice house inside, too. Very clean, very nice. Now Warren PD is going to come in and do their evidence search. Postal money order receipts, $1,000 increments, the documents, uh, none of which are in the homeowner's name, and all of which are probably subject of identity theft. There's probably over a million dollars uh, in this scam. A lot of work, paperwork. That, that's the fun part. We're very pleased. There's only one element that was missing, and that was our suspect. But we're confident that uh, He'll be brought in and uh, uh, we'll be facing his day in court.